Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at using the, uh, the operations we learned about in the previous example to create some um, new objects out of, out of different shapes that we create. So what I've done is I've uh, gone into Google and I just did a search for icon boat, so like a boat icon, and I found a really simple one like this one, for example. And if I right click on this boat and I just say copy image, I can switch over to my document and I can paste it in. That's how we got what we have here. So um, the object itself, when you bring in an icon like that, this is called a bitmap, kind of what we learned earlier with bitmaps versus uh, vector images. What happens with this bitmap is if I make it really big and I zoom in here, you could see what happens to a bitmap it starts to what we call pixelate. It starts to change. Um, its resolution doesn't hold when it's, when it's a bitmap. So this is why you might, might want to take something like this and turn it into a vector image that can then be resized. And by the way, going out to the internet to look for icons is a great way to uh, get inspired by other people's work to see what types of, of new work that you can make based upon um, some really great ideas out there. So let's just say that I wanted to create a whole new sailboat based on this one. How could I do that using the uh, different uh, operations here? I'm going to actually use the difference operation here to make this happen. So if I looked at this first shape right there, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make my boat in blue. If I wanted to make this shape here, I would start with a rectangle of some kind. And it looks like I would need to take a chunk out of it like, a, like some kind of circle. So if I come over to the circle and I bring it like this, if I did that and I took the difference, it would give me this shape here, which is kind of close to that for now. Good enough for now. Uh, and if I want that shape there, again, I would this one I might take a circle and maybe take two rectangles out of it. So I'm going to grab a rectangle. Make the difference and then one more rectangle like that and take the difference and now I'm left with this and I could actually resize this one to make it bigger all right so now I'm starting to get what I want from these different shapes and this last one uh, I might just take a bar rectangle this way and cut the corners off of it using so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another shape like this but this time I'm going to rotate it so that it matches the angle here of this one and I'm going to put it up against my my existing rectangle take the difference and I'm going to do that one more time so I take one of these I'm going to rotate it match it up with the angle of that one there, all right, and I'm going to take the difference. And so just like that, I've created this sailboat that looks very similar to the sailboat that I found out on the web. The cool thing about this sailboat is that I can resize it. I can actually group these if I want. I want to group these right here using object group. Now they're one piece. And if I take this and I resize it, there's no loss in resolution. Look in there. Look at how smooth that, that line is. There's no pixelating at all. And now I have an object that I can laser cut or I can <clears throat> vinyl cut it or I can do other things with it. I can make a digital fabrication out of, out of this new shape. Okay, so that's taking an image off of the web as an idea generator and then creating my very own using shapes in Inkscape.